Hi, Mac. We need to get out of here, and I've come up with a brand new plan. Well, Ginger, let's hear it. I've noticed that some parts of the fence are quite rusty, and I wondered if we could cut through it. Aye, that's a thought. We could use that old butter knife from one of the huts, and I'm sure there are some broken shears around somewhere. I reckon if you get me those, I'll be able to make some crude wire cutters, which may be just good enough to cut that rusty wire. Great idea, Mac. I'll go and get them, but I'll have to be careful of the dogs. I managed to avoid the dogs and find the other blade you need. Aye, that's brilliant. Well done, Hen. Now, placing the bolt I already have through the centre of the two whilst crossing them in a 90 degree fashion like so, give her a wee bit of a tweak and hey, presto! Wire cutters. They look great. I hope they'll be strong enough. Well, remember, it'll only work on the rusty fence wire. Oh, yes, thanks, Mac. Now, I have to be able to get through the fence to get things for our next escape attempt. But what then, Hen? Mr Tweedy has bought some fireworks. I'll bet we could use those to launch us out of here. That sounds a wee bit dangerous. I'll need to do some projectile calculations to get us over the fence. We will obviously need some fireworks and a box of matches to light them. Yes, and I have an idea of where to get them. As this could be dangerously explosive. I think we should store them all with Babs and Hut 16. Yes, that probably is the safest place. You'd better warn them to be ready. Well, away with you, Ginger, and good luck. This completes what you need, Babs. Oh, thank you, Ginger. I'm getting a bit nervous. Don't worry. you love it. And we'll all be free at last. All right, then. It'll be nice to see a few fireworks, won't it?
You're a bright spark, so I'm going to award you a bronze medal. <laughs>